the breeze that engulfed our building had instilled a sense of calmness. But the scene inside our house was not at all calm. We had, there were battle lines drawn. Words were exchanged. Temperatures were soaring. I had started a fight with my brother. How many of you have siblings? Then you would appreciate and agree the, to the fact that this is just another day in the house, isn't it? Well, that day wasn't just another day. Got his chair, fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends. I wish you were dead. These are precisely the five words which has made me stand right in front of you and tell you the story of that day. Six years ago, my life was perfect. I was going to college every single day. I was acting on stage a lot. I was traveling all over the country, climbing mountains, meeting new people, exploring new places. I did not have a girlfriend. I was living the dream. My life was a celebration, just like this empty sheet of paper. It had infinite possibilities, a story waiting to be written. But all that changed on that winter morning. What I thought was a routine checkup with the doctor turned out to be the three hours that completely altered my life. I was diagnosed with a hole in the heart and I had to get the surgery done immediately to fix it. The doctor that day ordered me that I have to let go of all the adventure in my life, let go of all the physical exertion and lead a calmer life. My life, which was like a perfect dream, suddenly seemed very distant. All the infinite possibilities seemed impossible. I felt useless. With this mindset, I launched into a fight with my brother. And as things got out of hand, my brother, in a fit of rage, shouted at me, I'm better off without you. I wish you were dead. And he walked away. As I looked at him walking away, my defenses came down. Tears rolled down inevitably. I felt there was a burden to everyone I loved and cared about. I felt helpless that day. And as the door slammed right onto my face, I just ran to my dad and gave him a tight hug. My dad is not an over overtly emotional guy. But on that day, tears rolled down two sets of shoulders. My mom was always the strong one in the family. She was a mute spectator to all of this. She slowly, calmly walked up to me. She caressed my hair and said, Son, life is not easy always. You are sometimes dealt the wrong cards. It's up to you either to stand up and face adversities or succumb to them. Let go. Make sure that all the negativity within you is dead. Don't let negativity kill the hope within. That day, I learned a lesson for life. I slowly started to kill all my inner demons. I slowly got rid of all the negativity inside my life. Now today, I stand in front of you after three national level trekking expeditions, one national level cycling expedition, and I still play basketball every single day. I had picked up my useless life 
and turn over a new leaf. Suddenly, life seemed to have a lot more possibilities. Life will throw adversities at all of us. Trust me, it will. And when it does, all we need to do is stare right at it in the, in the eye and say, I wish you were dead. Over to the punishment.